Devor or Devor in Croatia writes, feeding the lowest octave to the properly set up main speakers is most of the time futile. In your own words, one can see woofers moving but cannot hear the sound. Now, obviously, the main speakers behave better if the first octave is prevented from reaching the woofer cones. What would be your preference here? Filter away the first octave or not? All right, so let me interpret what he's saying here because <laughs> this is something we touch on from time to time, and that is in a loudspeaker, many times you have a full range device that you put into the room and because of the room, because of the setup, you can see the woofers moving in and out with full range, low frequency sound, and yet you're not hearing it, right? And you're not hearing it because while the speaker is producing those low frequencies, the room is stopping you from hearing it. You're, you're in a null or you have standing waves that have bunched up and uh, or, or like in, in our listening room at PS Audio, which I've told you we're going to change, which I'm pretty excited about, the floor is absorbing all the low frequency energy. So despite the fact that our woofers are going like this, you're not hearing a whole a lot of bass, certainly not the amount of bass the speakers are producing. So even in that perfect room, which it isn't, but if it was a perfect room from a standing wave standpoint, or we had the perfect position for our listening to get bass, the woofers are working and we're not hearing it. hundred different reasons why. So he is proposing that if that is the case, which it often is, would we not be better off telling the speaker or rolling the speaker off and, and saying, hey, don't work so hard because the less hard the speaker has to work, the better it should sound, right? And if you're not hearing it, why produce it? And I would argue, as I have numerous times, not to do that. Let that speaker run full range. There's a whole bunch of reasons. Phase shift being one of it, when you start filtering that those low frequencies out of there, you're going to be adding phase shift to the upper frequencies. You are going to change the contour of your speaker from what the designer wanted to what you have. And I have never personally heard a high pass system sound better than one that was let to go full range. So my advice has been constant throughout this thing. Don't roll off the bottom of your speaker. And if your speaker winds up sounding better being rolled off, I would recommend you get a different pair of speakers because that's not very well designed. I would never do that to an Aspen pair of speakers. Those speakers are full range. They are in designed to be full range. They are intended to be full range. Let them roll. Let them do their thing. Okay? All right. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Bye.